Hello everyone, it's Jen Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is simply entitled Gravity. So let's take a look at what this article is about. So it says, what goes up must come down. So if you jump, you eventually, right, you always have to come down. When you jump, you land on the ground. Gravity is the force that pulls you and everything else to the ground. So what is gravity? It's the force or some kind of power uh, some kind of energy that pulls you and everything else like the desk, the chairs, everything to the ground. It's like an invisible super glue that holds the earth together. So invisible means you cannot see it with your eyes and super glue is really really strong glue that puts things together, sticks things together. So this holds the earth together. What is it? It's this force invisible that we can't see and it's called gravity. It keeps everything together. Without gravity, life on Earth is impossible. So we cannot live without gravity. Impossible means it cannot happen, right? So we learned some uh, interesting words today. Invisible, impossible. Trees, water, animals, houses. Everything would float off into space. So if gravity did not pull everything to the Earth or held it to the ground, everything would start floating away into space. And that would be very scary. So Sir Isaac Newton was an English scientist and he was the first person to study gravity over 300 years ago. So a scientist from England named Sir Isaac Newton, he was studying and there's a famous story how he was sitting underneath a tree and an apple fell on him under an apple tree and he realized what is it? Why did it fall down? And that's when he started studying the idea of gravity. So gravity is what keeps us to the ground. Sometimes we wish that we can jump higher or even fly, but without gravity, everything would start floating off, lifting off into space, and that would be scary. So this invisible force, something that keeps us close to the ground and safe, that is gravity. And now that you know, let's take a look at our questions for today. So it says here, fill in the blanks, and it says what goes up must come what is the opposite or the antonym of up so we see this person jumping and we know that eventually right as time passes this person is going to come and that's right what must up what goes up must come down and b says when you jump you land on the so where do you land the land means come down so when you jump where do you come down you come down on the not the air but on the ground. So this person jumps up and they will land on the ground. They will come down onto the ground. It is like an invisible something that holds earth together. So what is something that is very sticky and we use it to stick things or put things, connect things together? And it's like an invisible, we cannot see. It's like a super glue. And that's what gravity is like. And let's choose the right word to finish our sentences for today's article. It says gravity is the force, and we said force is like the power or energy that pushes, pulls, twists you around, you and everything else to the ground. So what is gravity? Is it a force that pushes, right? Meaning that we get farther away. It pulls, brings us in, or it twists, right? If it twists, it would be very, very scary and painful. So we know that gravity is the force that pulls us and everything else to the ground so that we don't fly off into space. Sir Isaac Newton was a, was he a teacher, a doctor, or a scientist? We said that he's from England, so he's an English something. He's an English teacher, English doctor, or an English scientist. And Sir Isaac Newton, we talked about it in our article today, he was indeed a scientist. And the last question, Newton was the first person to study, make, or pull gravity over 300 years ago. Did he pull gravity? That's impossible because it's invisible, we can't see it. Did he make gravity? Is it something that he made uh, in a laboratory? Or did he study it? Did he think that, oh, this is very interesting, I wanna know more about it. So we know that Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton is famous because he was the first person to that's right, he was the first person to study gravity over 300 years ago. So before 300 years ago, I think people were kind of curious, but they're just like, oh, I guess 
you know, it's not something that we need to worry about. But Sir Isaac Newton wanted to study more about it. And now we have different uh, things that we can learn and do uh, because of what he studied. So this and many other interesting things that he discovered as a scientist. So today we know what gravity is. So when you jump up, you know you're going to land down. You know, things like the table and the chairs, they're not going to float into space because of an invisible force called gravity. I hope you enjoyed today's article and share what you know with your friends and your family. I thank you and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.